What is up gamers? Today we're checking out some new planetarium items. First of all, let's check out the curse room. See if there's anything in these chests. Set the tone, the vibe of the run while I defeat these enemies. We get two soul hearts. That's beautiful. So we're playing the Prisoners of Tartarus today. It's been a while since I've checked out new planetarium items. I remember the last time I did something like this was uh, actually Kalem a bit ago. And I had a lot of fun playing that. So I thought I'd bust another one out. As you can see, we actually have a 1% planetarium here. Oh my god, Isaac is freaking pogging how rare is that uh, but of course not actually because all i've done is change all the treasure rooms uh, for the rest of the run into planetarium so hopefully we get a new item here we do this is ixion grants a rapidly fading damage and speed up as isaac moves clockwise in a circle this seems absolutely obnoxious i love it let's do it dude so if i do this i'm gonna oh my god <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, dude, it's got little particle effects. Okay, so don't do big. Do little small ones. And look at that. Our damage gets really... This is a crazy good item. It's getting up to 10 damage. Even 11, depending on how fast I go. Dude, this guy, I'm gonna get arthritis today. Hold on. Oh, I can only do 12. That's the highest. Also gives us that speed up. That's beautiful. So yeah, I did check out a lot of the new items based on what it said on the workshop page. They seemed really cool. But I also went out of my way to forget what I read. So while I know the item items that are in the new planetarium are really cool. I also have completely forgotten about them so I can do my, uh, you know, YouTuber react moment so we get the best of both worlds. That being said, there are a ton of new items so we might not be able to land all of them. Any ones that we do not find, I'll be sure to highlight by coming in post Matman style and being like, guys, this item is epic. I gotta let you know. I've never really played an item like this before where it rewards me for micromanaging a lot of movement, but I'm kind of into it, dude. I mean, the damage up is super worth it. It just really hurts my wrist, but you know, I'm down. <laughs> I bet an item like this would actually be really good on, on the controller where all you got to do is do circles with the analog stick. That would be way better for me, but... I'm a keyboard warrior when it comes to Isaac. I genuinely think that playing uh, Isaac on controller is by definition better for you. Not only in terms of gameplay, but literally ergonomically. However, I also say that if you played Isaac uh, during Flash days, you know where I'm coming from when I say that it just doesn't make sense to you and keyboard Isaac is on top. A very strong amount of damage from this, uh, what was it called? Ixion item? Slightly abnormal, honestly. Very powerful. Do I want to speed up? Not really. Oh, yeah, I'd love Tears Up way more. Let's try and save as many rolls as we can for future planetariums, and let's go straight down. Oh my goodness, the sun from the Lucky Sack? E yeah, give me the mapping, dude. We know that there's a secret room here. Double the price for the bomb. Mega value from there. We're talking Walmart levels. We get some money and even more money. To save time, I'm actually gonna go right then left instead of left then right then left because i want to prioritize my rolls on the planetarium and going left is not going to give me a full reroll. instead i'd love to check out the red chest with some pills please be decent health up is nice and question mark is just good to know i'll never take it again dude look look at this i'm i'm, I'm kind of gaming actually not only am i micromanaging my circles my mini clockwise moments very well I'm still hitting all of my shots despite all of that. That's some major skill. A little bit crazy if you ask me, but this is actually not enough rerolls. So this is a major skill issue because I, I came back too early. I need to go back and defeat the boss. Well, actually, you know, what if it's just a new item in here? I'm not going to reroll a new item. Is it new? Oh, it is. It's Sisyphus. Dude, it's the stone dude. Boulder man. Let's go. Two additional pickups drop upon clearing a room. Whenever Isaac has more than 20 cents, three bombs, three keys, or four hearts, he will lose all of that type down to half a heart is this gonna destroy me oh, okay we're fine this is the only item i've seen gameplay of and it might seem kind of weird to understand right off the bat but all you gotta know is wow that's a luck up thank you that it works similar to deep pockets where we're gonna get extra clear room rewards but if we take these room rewards uh and we you know have too many then we're gonna get sent all the way back down so we gotta micromanage at this point Plum done, and I have a roll available with a deal. So, sure, let's do it. Let's take the booster pack. Anything good? Ace of Hearts. It, wait, what? It, really? Two Ace of Hearts? <laughs> Queen of Hearts, Moon card, and Reverse Emperor. Let's use the Reverse Emperor now. Better to do it early on. And uh, of all of these, they all suck. So I'm taking, oh, bit of a dead cat moment plus the Spirit of the Night. Don't mind if I do. So how does, how does this work? If I take this coin wait didn't it say if i have 20 coins it would go down wait what about the keys i have two keys i have four keys you know what maybe i i don't know <laughs> 
Game officially rigged, hell yeah. I saw, I believe the person made a, uh, a bit of like a tutorial based on the items they made. Hello, Fallen, by the way. I saw them do it in real time. It made it so their items went down. But hey, if it's not working and I get to take advantage, I am not complaining. Better for me. Okay, we get Ocular Rift, which is wonderful. We get low HP, so I'm rewarded with Soul Heart and Bomb. I'm also thinking we should go downpour. Why? Because planetariums are blue and I like the color blue. So we'll get even more blue. What is your guys' favorite color? That is a humongous question because I feel like it says a lot about your current mental and where you are as a human being. I mean, some people change their favorite color over their lifetime. One time it's this, the next time it's something else. Me, overall, I've always liked orange because specifically, I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure I watched like, uh, you know, when you're a kid, they teach you like the primary colors and uh, what colors mix with what. And I liked red and I liked yellow. So learning that red and yellow created orange which i also really liked it just made me be like dude orange is kind of peak slightly controversial maybe but maybe i'm spitting at the same time here's another planetarium and yes it does seem like we are just constantly <laughs> getting all the pickups necessary with no downside i am not complaining i'm actually very happy about this here's another one this is just a regular planetarium and it's jupiter I, I mean, the health is good, but we want something either better or new. That's just straight up better. Really worth it. Holy moly. We have a shop as well. I'll take the soul heart. I'm low. Hit the restock machine. Uh, a battery. That's great. Again, I'd love a damage up. Gonna scale even better considering we have the whole like circle doodad thing here. And a dream catcher. If I get one more cent, uh, I will be taking that as well. Let's go in the curse room. Land ourselves a free black heart. Double key. And just, you know, secret room roll out. Oh my. My goodness there's no way i land a random death certificate today i just don't see it happening but chaos is terrible because we have planetariums never mind <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at it. You see it? You see the vision? Just 360s and then shoot. And then 360s and then shoot. The flowchart has been achieved. I don't think the game stands a chance at what I'm throwing at it. Also, considering all of this stuff, I I would I say that even more so. This is absurdly good. Uh, How did we not die? Oh, false PhD. Huh? I'll take a range down for a damage up. Where is it? Wait, what? Why is it there? Where's the range down? Hello? Oh, dude, what the hell? Where's Waldo? <laughs> Where's Waldo as range down? What are you doing there? Boss challenge room? True. Pick a mine. I did take that range down. But dude, look at my range anyway. Like, who who cares? Well, actually, that's sty range. My fault. My my actual range is actually pretty pretty pathetic. Okay, I'll take it. Not like this will be a hard fight. And even if I lose, we'll just respawn outside. Wow, that's some humongo damage. I'm pretty sure the way it's supposed to work, like the, uh, the Ixiom item with the pickups is like, wow, you get so many different pickups. But if you take too many on a floor, you know, they, they get deleted. So you want to use them on the floor. And then when you're down under the minimum, then, you know, you can go ahead and pick them back up. You can min max. So it's still a bit of an upgrade, a very strong one at that. I don't know why this is happening to me, but I'm down with it. May as well roll the knife piece and get a key bum. Maybe I'll get like a super bum transformation. It's a rare thing to happen. I never hold out hope for it, but yeah, it could happen. Yo, wasn't there a restock machine in the shop? Like the legendary restock downpour too? Or am I crazy here? I could just be coping. Oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. Go ahead and just give me whatever I want at this point. Uh, battery, we don't have anything to roll. Another one, jumper cables is the mega broken item with the D6. Wabamba. TM trainer. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I've been thinking of doing a TM trainer recently. I've been fiending for another TM trainer run, but that, that's going to ruin our planetarium chances. So not today, but maybe in the future. Here's our last roll. Boom. Mad unfortunate, but that's okay. I can at least say that we really maximized there. Tried our best to get what we needed to do done, and we can move on forward. That's okay. We got a bunch of golden chests here. Let's just plop it open. We got so many hearts available. And immediately, my money deficit I just had is seeming more like a, a money surplus. The stocks are going crazy today. You wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, I, this is gonna be so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This is gonna be weird, but I, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be weirdly not thematic at all, but I think it should be said. I'm gonna teach you guys about stocks. Like, actually, like, like for real, for real. I don't know that much, to be fair. Like, I only just learned. But here's the thing. I'm gonna say it in a gamer way. That way you guys are able to uh, pay attention in class. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna make it real brief. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this together, gamers. Don't you threat. But before we do that, before we start a lesson, I'd love to check out the vault. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so here's the crazy 
craziest thing. I did not know anything about socks, and to be honest with you, I still feel like I don't really know that much. But I learned a lot, especially because tax season showed up recently. And there's some things that you should do as you grow older that will help you in the future. Now, am I saying you should probably take stock advice from, uh, you know, a YouTuber? Probably not. <laughs> But I'm not going to say, oh, invest in this and then do this. Like, don't worry. I, I promise I'm not like that. I swear to God. I'm talking more like retirement and stuff. Jesus, what happened? Why did that? Oh, wow. I hit the maximum. It did the thing. My money got shot. Maybe this is me, uh, the game for telling me that I shouldn't tell you guys about this stuff. Or that's going to happen to you. <laughs> uh, basically, all you need to know is as you get older, there's two types of accounts that you should have that you should slowly put money into because uh, it's going to be good for you uh, overall when you're older. One is called an IRA and one is called a Roth IRA. The Roth IRA is more like the stocks kind of stuff. Uh, except it's it's kind of safe you do i think it's called like sp500 or something silly like that i don't know the, the specifics all you need to know is that thing has been going up for like 40 years and it's the thing that everyone uh, invests into because it's the top 500 companies in the u.s this only applies to the u.s but i'm sure there's some kind of uh, equivalent for you know whatever country you're in uh, sp500 is the top 500 companies in the u.s or something like that you know again gamer i'm not that smart so you, you just put money in that whenever you got money to put and you do that over over time and slowly but surely the money will go up because again it's been going up for 40 years i don't invest into actual stocks i'd like to clarify here like i don't put my money in five thousand dollars and then the next day i see that it goes down and i'm like well uh, gg that was it <laughs> time to gamble again like believe it or not i truly do not know what i'm talking about when it comes to that stuff just as much as i'm sure a lot of you guys are so that's one of them. The other one is just a regular IRA, which is just literally your retirement fund. When you got money and you got enough money to put in a retirement fund, you put it in the IRA. And that's all you need to know. That's crazy, right? That that's all you need to know? Am I going to be able to go past the cap here on money? Let me let me shop first because I might pass it. Oh, well, actually, this is good because it spawns batteries. It can use it on the planetarium chance. Hold on. Pause on the classroom. I just got to get a real uh, good item here. Venus, no thank you. Mars, no thank you. Another one. Oh, that's new. Uh, Titios. Damage times to a damage multiplier. Enemies have about one three chance to resurrect upon death. That sounds so dope. I am hella into this. Forever tormented. And let's do the golden penny real quick. Yeah, but that's all you need to know. Those are the two main things that are, are like the only thing you need to really worry about. Of course, you can do more if you want. But those are the main doodads. The main bonobo accounts you got to take advantage of. Isn't that crazy? I Okay, listen. Maybe this is a, a, like a one-time experience for me. But personally, I grew up, I, I would say, a little bit more poor than your average person. No one told me this stuff. I had no clue. I only recently learned it. So I just feel like, I don't know, maybe I can help someone out there that has no idea what they're doing by giving them some general advice. It's not, you know, crazy. I'm not saying you should uh, like dump all your money in X stock or something. This is just like, you, you should just know this information. And I don't know, maybe I can help change someone's life or get them started well. Hey, it, you know, 40 years from now, if uh, you're sitting on a fat retirement fund and you were uh, cranking in the SP500, come back to this video and be like, thanks, I'm now a millionaire. And I, you know what? I'll collect my funds from you oh, later. Anyway, with that done, we get glass eye, we get a devil room and ceremonial robes. This is humongous. I'll take this and roll and guppy is good. I hope I don't die. I don't know actually my health, how much I have, but it looks like we're chilling. Let's go down again. Already on Necropolis? You love to see it. Why was I even scared to die? I have the cat. Could you imagine I didn't take that goddamn item? Like, oh, I'm so scared. No, I didn't get 2-3 Guppy because I forgot dead cat exists. I would have hated myself for that. But that's not the timeline we live in. We are in the good timeline today. And I hope you guys are also chilling with me as well. Let's go ahead and find more of these treasure rooms slash planetariums and start rolling. We've been getting a good amount of these new items. It doesn't really seem like we are running out here, so I'm, I'm very happy with how this is going. Ah, there's my planetarium. Dude, I literally explored the entire floor and it took this long to find my both special rooms. What were you guys hiding? Oh, eh, nightlight's fine, but I don't need it. Maybe something a little bit better for the run. Smelter. Mm. Actually, you know what? The, the battery's useful. Let's see. Anything good in here? No. <gasps> Uh, that's absurdly good, don't get me wrong. But not quite my tempo, thank you very much. But also no thank you. Still not the case, I'm looking for a new item here. I definitely think we would land it, we just gotta keep going, hold on. Boom, another, no, we gotta get one more battery here. I, I'm gonna go for a big man roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> that 
is mighty powerful. That is even more powerful. Borderline absurd and unbelievable, but I sure as hell am not complaining. <laughs> what the hell? Two dimes from that? I don't understand how that's actually possible at all, but I'm down to clown. This is actually possible to get another roll as well, because we have a mob challenge room here, plus the jumper cables, plus the boss. I'm- oh! I- okay, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What the hell is Polly doing here? I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've seen you, and I'm happy, dude. What? That is major unnatural gameplay. Exactly what I said was going to happen happened. The jumper cables popped off, and we actually got another roll. I'm realizing this uh, kind of quote-unquote downside of having enemies resurrect is good for us. Because of the jumper cables, we're getting even more rerolls. And we did get something new. We got two new things. The first one is Arc. Isaac can no longer gain flight. Passive items which grant flight will now instead grant 3 damage and 0.3 speed. Does that apply to my current flight? Will it take it away? And this one is Denitis? Denades? Holding an item card slash pill above Isaac's head causes tears to be absorbed, granting a temporary damage boost. Oh, okay. The effect breaks after a certain amount of tears are absorbed, dealing double damage to Isaac themselves. This seems uh, more, like, uh, effective. Okay, so I do lose flight, because I now have gained legs once again, but I'll take the damage up. Every single flight item is now a damage up. I'll take it. Our base damage is 60. If I do 360s, I can get all the way up comfortably, whoopsies, to, like... 75? Yeah, comfortably without me pushing it. Probably 77 if I really tried. I, honestly, maybe even 78. Absolutely unnatural amounts of damage coming from Isaac currently. I don't understand how this run got so good or why Polly showed up, but I am not complaining. I'll take growth hormones and then we'll go down. Final planetarium that's guaranteed. We do get two more items. Did we see every single one of these? Maybe I'm missing only one. This one is Tantalus. Hearts are replaced by flies. Picking up a trinket causes Isaac to eat it. We're throwing two red hearts. That doesn't work for me because I got soul hearts, but that's interesting. And finally, Ochness. Isaac's active item is fully charged upon clearing a room. Isaac's active item is fully discharged after clearing a room. Is this not broken as hell? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Is that not the most broken passive item I've heard in my life? Every single room I do, I get to have a reroll as long as I'm not bored and I can go back and forth and press spacebar. That, that's borderline unfair. That is crazy good. I mean, I suppose in a situation like this, it's not that good because, you know, I got nothing to reroll. I have that shop, but no, uh, no funds to make it work. But, you know, I'm thinking more like the chest or something. Every single room is a reroll. How many rooms are generally on the chest? I've never posed this question to myself before. It never seemed necessary. But now with an item like this, it does seem necessary. I feel like there's, I don't know, dude, like 30 plus, 30 rerolls, four items. I, that's nuts. I can't even imagine the amount of items we get from that. I guess 120 if you do the math. There is no way this item is actually real. I can't believe it. I kind of just want to go fight mom. That can't even be a secret room. I'm stupid. And start putting this awkwardness to use because uh, I'm getting ideas, dudes. I, I, I am cooking in the mind right now. Hello? Uh, yeah. No. No thank you at all. I will be spending my money elsewhere, aka the machine right next to you. Donate it to the ATM. Keep in mind there is a $5 tax fee because you're using credit on an ATM. Always so annoying, but you know, it is what it is. It's the matter of convenience. All right, guys, let's shut it down. Mom, you are a hell of a dead. <laughs> Nothing, nothing can stop us. We'll take chest today and then devil room. Ooh, pretty sick, pretty nasty. Oh my God, thanks for the charge key. But not that incredible to be honest. I feel like we could land more. Satanics, whatever. Should I take both of these just for the bookworm progress? Sure, why the hell not? I mean, I'm gonna roll them anyways, right? I said that fat reroll. Oh! Now that is something to get majorly excited for. Guppy plus the incubus. How is that even possible for me? And we get another roll. Dark bomb. Oh my! What? What is this run? What? What happened? I don't. Uh, hello? What is this real? Let's uh, let's make our way to the boss. Then <laughs> I kind of just want to speed run my way all the way to the chest because we're not gonna get planetariums anymore. I don't have telescope trinket, and that's the only way you can get planetariums on uh, Woom onwards. So the only thing I care about right now is getting a stupid amount of items, and I know for a fact that's gonna happen with this Ochness plus chest play. Oh, hi, what the hell? Um, what? I wasn't expecting you, but I don't got a use for you. Bye. Uh-oh. Well, that kind of sucks, but uh, honestly, I, I wanted the Red Prince's crown up. Yeah, you know how it is. 
What happened here? What happened here? What happened here? What happened? Why? Why? What, what is this? Excuse me? What? Hello? <laughs> I can't fix it. It's too far gone. I need to use bombs or something. I need to I need to amend my mistakes. I, I sinned against Isaac God and, and it, it, it's like making me pay for my crimes. It's only getting worse. Someone someone help me, please. Please don't be every enemy ever in here. Okay, let's take this one slow. There, there we go. Phew. <laughs> You got me all types of messed up if you want me to explain what just happened there. <laughs> what up, carrying queen? That's not even what you're called. What are you called? Like the matriarch or something? I don't know. You fell off after Afterbirth Plus. I'll take the Jesus juice. Let's go down. Boss challenge room to our left. Uh, yes, I will be taking synth oil. More spun. We just need one more to get that done. We may get a deal here and then I can finally start using Ochness uh, effectively. Well, I guess it needs to stay open, so probably not. But we could try- Oh, oh my god! <laughs> there is absolutely no way that happened. I'm gonna die real quick. See you later, gamers. And I wanna respawn in here and take the, uh, the Book of Belial for the bookworm. And then you know what, I'll respawn. And then you know what, I'll die again. Just so I can get my D6 back. And then that, that's less useful. Actually, wait, it's very useful, because I get- Oh, 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 oh! I get Leviathan. I wanted the Maw of the Void, but, you know, it's not like I was gonna use it anyway. I more just wanted the Leviathan in general. Okay, well, we got the most broken run ever. We got a classic, Poly Brimstone. We gotta lock it in, guys. No fooling around today. Where is the chest? I need to hit Isaac immediately, because our health is dwindling. There is no denying that three lives with two HP is uh, not exactly incredible, especially if you decide to run inside of a holy light. Like, that's just not going to be good for you. The damage, though, like once we start fighting bosses, oh my goodness. Can you name a single boss that will survive a single brimstone blast from me right now? I sure as hell cannot. I mean, I don't even think I could fight Mega Satan and he'd like survive this. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, like is that extravagant but it truly is multiply 10 times over as well because of the twisted pair incubus aha there's the boss this is what we were really waiting for this is what i want to take advantage of isaac dying in one shot is something to marvel at let's get every reroll possible so you're telling me that oh no yeah i play the binding of isaac i want to die <laughs> hey can join though that's pretty cool anemic wow wow dad's key you kidding me that was actually really lucky explosivo and we can uh roll this after completing one room isn't that incredible guys i just did one room and i got a reroll that's crazy what where did it go hello what <laughs> wait a second did it wait what wait it only lasts the room wait what that's baloney how is that? I mean, I guess I could think of some niche case uses where that's useful, but are you kidding me? I gotta use it in room? Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Not only did I get destroyed by the planetarium, I got destroyed by a random ass curse of blind. I didn't think it could happen to me, but, uh, you know, here we are. I guess I'll use it here for posterity, just to say that I did use it. And then we will be moving our ass along. Let's go find our blue baby fight. And then we'll destroy Mega Satan very easily. Or not, you know, again, 2 HP with uh, 3 lives is not exactly significant. But you can see the amount of damage I'm doing. I, I think we'll be okay. There's Blue Baby then. Final item, probably. Mom's Perfume. I actually need Tears Up. Not like that's a lot though. Let's take the Bone Heart and take care of Mega Satan. Sorry to say, but it truly pains me to be on the chest with a birthright as Isaac D6 Mega Rerolls and be blind it just mentally hurts my soul i can't handle that so let's just demolish you instead so how much how much do you need one shot yeah that's what i thought good luck surviving my onslaught holy mother oh my goodness it's beautiful nothing like a clean brimstone run to really get you going dude it's just brimstone and a high amount of damage sometimes that's really all you need to get your dopamine in seems like three shots total i'm gonna do a little bit of 360 to increase my damage even further and there you go brittle bones mega satan dying at the seams and that was it no delirium today that was all the planetarium items that was awesome i had so much fun abusing all of them and we got absurdly broken i hope you guys enjoyed and gg